Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to quickly copy an entire layout from one drawing into a new drawing. This is gonna save you a ton of time, whether you're copying from a template or example drawing, this is gonna bring everything from the layout into your current drawing in just a few clicks. Let's jump right into today's video and save you some time. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, this is a simple trick that's not gonna take us long, but it's gonna allow you to bring an entire layout tab, including things like your title block, text, or even like a scale bar or north arrow block. Everything's gonna be brought from your example or template drawing directly into your current drawing saving you the time of setting things up, especially if you're creating consistent or similar drawings over and over, you can simply pull everything from one that you've already done that looks the same or needs a similar layout and then edit it as needed. So you can see here in our example drawing, this is a floor plan. We've just got our simple first floor plan here. This is gonna work for site plans or details, anything you typically do. You can see in our layout tab here, we've just got the default layout. Now what we're gonna do is insert or import a layout from another drawing. I've got an example one over here. You can see I've got two layouts in this drawing, a floor plan and an electrical plan layout. Each one has a title block that's filled in. It's also got a viewport that's set up showing our floor plan. Now we're gonna do this quickly here. So right clicking on a tab in your current or new drawing and choosing new layout and you're gonna choose from template so right click on a layout tab and choose from template now the trick here is that you can choose the file type choosing a dwg allows you to bring in a layout from any drawing that you've got so you can see here i've got a folder with some example files i'm going to paste that link so Control c and Control v to copy and paste that path and we're going to grab this one here the production drawing 001 because we know it has the two layouts we're looking for. This could be the last project you did and you have a standard plan or site layout sheet with title block and text all set up. Choosing either one or holding control and selecting both will bring one or all of them into your drawing. I'm gonna choose both by hitting, holding control and clicking them both there and hit okay. You can see instantly on the bottom here, they've both been brought in. And now clicking on it, you can see it's pre brought everything in depending on where your floor plan is in your model space you may need to adjust or move around your layout scaling it in or out but as you can see all of the text came in from my other drawing so if you've got a long list of notes a legend anything like that and you want to copy that directly into your drawing and it's in your layout space or paper space this is a great way to do that you can also use dwt's templates and bring in layouts from that like the ones you can get on my website. Uh, you, I'll put that link down below and up above where you can download and get a custom template with these title blocks pre-set up. So you can simply bring in the sheet size that's necessary for your drawing. So you can see here, it automatically brought in my dual viewport view for my electrical plan, similar to how I had it set up in the old one. So it saves you all this setup time and all you need to do in your current or new drawing is adjust your viewports, set a scale, and change up, say, the client and project info to match your current and new project. So that's all for today's quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to learn more about drawing production and setup, along with a ton of AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals, I have a course available for instant download. I'll put that link up above and down below. It's discounted using these links. I've packed over 15 years of my experience into helping new users get started quick by teaching the fundamentals and the workflows that are going to save you the most time in AutoCAD. Thanks again for watching. Again, don't forget to check out those and subscribe to the channel for next week's video. I post one a week and I'd love to see you back for the next one. Cheers.